Hey guys, I'm Shubhanka from TechCrunch Gadgets and in this video, I'm going to tell you about 9 Android settings that you should change right now. These changes will make your Android experience even better. So let's get started. If it is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any updates. First up on the list is improve performance by speeding up animations. Android user interface looks and feels great to use, but sometimes these Android animations can affect your device performance. So to make your device more fast and fluid, you can just speed up animations. To do that, go to Android settings, then go to about phone and then click on the build number for 8 times to enable developer options. Then go back and they will see developer options. Go to developer options and locate animations. And there you can see window animation scale, transition animation scale and animated duration scale. You can now change this to 0.5, again 0.5 and again 0.5. There are many options but 0.5 is just enough. Now when you go back to home, the touch will feel more responsive. Your device will seem more fast and fluid. It's awesome. Hide sensitive content on the lock screen. When a notification of a private chat or email arrives on your lock screen, somebody else might read that. We don't like it if somebody else reads our private information. So to prevent that, just go to notifications and then click on this gear icon and then click on the, on the lock screen setting and click on hide sensitive notification content. And next time, when someone checks your lock screen and as you can see you can see contents hidden and this way your private information will be safe from prying eyes double tap power button to launch camera there are moments which demand us to take photos quickly like a bird flying but uh, it happens that it takes a lot of time to get past the lock screen and then open the camera app so next time when you take photos quickly you can double tap just the power button to access your camera just go to your settings and start typing power or you can directly access it under the display settings and there you can see press power button twice for camera click to enable it then next time when you just click on the power button twice it will take you directly to the camera and you can take a photo quickly it's so awesome enable number row in google gboard google gboard is one of the best keyboard app out there and just like other keyboards, to access the numbers, you have to go to the symbols page. But did you know, you can get the numbers tab just above this QWERTY keypad. Just go to your settings, then go to languages and input, then click on virtual keyboard, then go to Google Gboard, and then go to preferences and enable number row. And when you next time open the keyboard, you can see the number board right there. It just makes the experience a whole lot better. Move Chrome address bar to the bottom. To move this address bar to the bottom, just click on the address bar and type Chrome Flags and click on it. This will take you to the experiments page and here you can browse through many developer experiments that never make it to the official app and there search for Chrome Home. As you can see Chrome Home this enables Chrome Home and Android. Now just click on default to enabled. Now restart Chrome again. And this time you can see the new layout. This is amazing. You can swipe between tabs, get to bookmarks easily, read trending stories and lot more. This is one of the coolest Android settings hidden under the Chrome experiment section. Google Play Protect. You might have noticed this verified by Play Protect symbol while installing new apps and games. Google Play Protect is a new service by Google that protects your device from harmful apps, malwares and other harmful games. But most malware attacks occur on an Android device because of third-party apps that are unverified. To improve harmful app detection, just enable this option. And next time, Google will also scan your third-party apps that you have installed from third-party app stores and other unknown sources. This provides added security to your Android device. Get rid of new app shortcuts. After spending a lot of time setting up a home screen, newly installed app shortcuts tend to mess it up. I don't know why Android creates this, but we can directly access the apps from the app drawer. So to get rid of that, just go to Play Store, 
settings and then just untick this option and next time icons will not be added to the home screen and your home screen will remain beautiful as it was android instant apps android instant apps enables you to try certain applications that are available on the play store without even installing them on your device this new york times crossword application is instant app compatible but currently instant apps is not enabled on my device so to enable that just go to your settings and navigate to google and there you can see instant apps just enable instant apps yes i'm in and now you're done next time on the app page you'll see a try now button just click on try now and the minimized version of the app will load up remotely control your phone if you accidentally lose your phone you can now remotely remove the data from your phone lock it or even call it to find it to enable find my phone just go to security and fingerprint or security tab depending on your phone and then browse to device administrators then click on it and they will see find my device which allows you to lock or erase a lost device just click to enable it just activate as device administrator and it's done so these were the nine android settings that you should change so guys if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button below and do share this video with your friends and family and do subscribe to my channel. Until then, I'll see you again in my next video. Thanks for watching.